<laughs> oh my god! Ladies and gentlemen, you're not gonna believe what I just saw. She was like, she got close to him. Like, he was gonna kiss him. And then she says, No, I have to throw it. I can get out. Oh! Oh, so that's, that's crazy. This girl is crazy. That's some power trip right there. God damn. What a fucking film. What a fucking film. I am fucking impressed, folks. Oh my God. An hour is something well spent. Ah, oh, what a great movie. What a great movie. <laughs> crazy. Toxic shit. Now, what was the point of the movie? That's what I want to know. What was the point of the movie? Can we move this because the movie's done? What was the point of the movie? Because this is what happened. Two, uh, two people were in love. They lived together. They worked together. They kept their relationship secret from their co-workers because it was against company policy for people to date in the workplace. Do not shit where you eat. But these two did it. Luke and Emily did it. They fucked. They lived together. Fuck. I mean, they, they, they not only fuck, they lived together. Same apartment. Had to share a fucking lease. Now, baby, move into me. No, no, no. Baby, let's get an apartment together. That's what they did. They moved in together. They stayed together. And Emily got promoted. Luke started acting like a bitch. And Emily tried to help Luke get a promotion, get a better job. She even tried to send his resume to other fucking companies to get him a job away from her. So that he would not lose his fucking mind every time she see her being rubbed on the shoulder, cracking jokes with other bosses. And you'd stop having this elaborate imagination that they were fucking her. And that's how she got the promotion. <laughs> Luke the man could not handle that. Luke the man became toxic, started breaking her down emotionally with slight comments and unnecessary nonsense all the fucking time. Which was an unnecessary thing to happen. But that's what Luke the man did. And in the end, she screamed the R word. She said, you write me, nigga. And I don't know. All I know is they were fighting. One minute he kissed her, and he kissed her back. And one minute she took off her panties. She took them off, and he put her dick inside her. He came in her. All I know is one minute she was bending over on the, on the sink. She said, stop, my baby. Yo. She didn't say my baby. She said, stop, because this nigga was a, bit, a little too hard. And he didn't stop. So can we honestly say from that moment, it's rape. Fine, because he said stop, and you continue going, let's say it's rape. I don't even know the rules of rape, but apparently that's rape. Okay, she raped him. Or he raped him. And then she cut his ass with a knife twice on the rift and he him. And then she made him bleed all over his fl her floor after telling him, you either fucking cry or bleed. And he did both. He did fucking both. Just when he thought it was over, she came close to him, caressed his emotions, touched his face like he was about to kiss him. Huh? But no! She said. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Great acting. Anyway, folks, I'm out of here, man. That's the outro. Now that was entertaining. You just listened to an episode of the Let's Netflix and Chill podcast with Reese Jansen. With that being said, remember to support the podcast on Patreon. And let's hang out another time. Adios, folks. Adios.